Fall sports are well underway at Montgomery College, and MCTV's Michael Brown has a mid-season report on how all the Raptor teams are doing. It's been a challenging and interesting first half of the season for MC's soccer and volleyball teams. Men's soccer returned just four players from last year's team that finished fourth in the nation, but Pedro Braza's team has picked up right where they left off. Playing maybe the toughest schedule in the nation, the Raptors are 10-2-1, ranked sixth in the country, and they're in first place in Maryland Juco. And like last year, they're spreading the scoring magic around. Gabe Nadai, reigning national scoring leader, is right there again with 13 goals. Jonathan Barron has been a sensation with eight goals, and Javier Nieto also has eight. And the inexperienced Raptors defense has been stout. Led by middle backer Brandon McCoy and the goalkeeping tandem of Bogdan Sveaton and Max Labuski, the Raptors have five shutouts and a stingy goals against average. So the Raptors' perpetual goal of returning to the national championship tournament in November looks very realistic. Women's volleyball sits in third place in Maryland Juco, which is remarkable considering all their injuries. Two team stars, Hedy Libero, Christy Mempen, and last year's MVP and dynamic outside hitter Hiromi Konishi have both missed substantial amounts of time. But despite the challenges, head coach Amir Bafita John has the team playing with confidence and he's getting contributions from the entire roster. Middle hitter Capria Redparth has been a dominating force. Nicole Couturier has doled out assists by the boatload, and newcomers Catherine Liu and Natalie Speth have played big, contributing kills and scoring with their wicked service game. And finally, MC's women's soccer team has gotten off to a bit of a slow start, but head coach Brad Harton's team also started slowly last year, only to turn it around and come within one goal of going to nationals. So don't count this team out. Their losses have been nail biters and they're getting excellent play out of their defense, anchored by Caitlin Snyder and Tracy Velasquez. And despite some scoring woes, they have the weapons. So look for this team to get on a roll heading toward the postseason. For County Report this week from Montgomery College, I'm Michael Brown.